eight to come out for the production. Uh, Street Stocks, Kate Helms and Phil Lickelet will be the front row on this one. Lickelet having a good win last weekend at the Manjimup Speedway for round number three of the IVIX Industry Southwestern Air Championship. Darren Trent and Damon Lyle were lined up on row number two. The brothers squaring off in position three and four. Mitchell Woods, who looks like a non attendee, so it'll be a field of seven for this one. So it'll be the two Normans off of row number three. Oh god, this is going to be interesting. A pair of Normans and a pair of Lyles and Damon Thompson at the tail. A couple of lawyer firms out there. <laughs> oh wow. But it's Helms and Lickel at Collie versus Bunbury off the front. It's what we like to see on a night like this. Collie took the first one. We'll see what we can do in the second heat of the street stocks. But you've got the Lyles all of these cars would be in an A main. Yes. In a state title. Let's see how it runs. Likely and Helms will lead us to a green. Good start as well for that entire of the inside row. As Helms holds true at the moment. Licklet on the outside. And the lime green holding Commodore dubbed 199 will head to the front. Challenge is still for second place as Norman and Lyle are side by side, that's Damon Lyle and Ben Norman, as Norman on the inside gets past the trio, E.L. Falcons fighting it out for the minor stages, but lap number one goes to Floppy Fuel Lickelet in a comfortable lead at the moment. So he leads after lap number one, Marty Kelly's there, the 66 car of Ben Norman up there in third, Damon Lyle fourth, Damon Thompson in fifth place, Hayden Norman tucked away in six and Kate Helms rounds out the seven, so move down the main straight, Lickelet your leader, here comes Ben Norman, Underneath a Marty Kelly, back in fourth place is that a Damon Lyle. Hayden Norman goes underneath a Damon Thompson who fights back on the outside. So run into the back straight and then further back to Kate Helms. There's three of the lock together for second, third and fourth place. Phil Lickelet though, still your race leader as they move down the main straight. It troubles for Damon Lyle as a trio of EL Falcons having the FGs where they needed to be. But Lyle, who was at higher second place earlier on, is falling by the wayside to be actually in sixth place just ahead of Kate Helms. But it's Norman and Lyle, that's Damon, giving the chase to Lickelet, the local driver. Heading up a bunch of foreign aspects is uh, onto the inside and actually goes Ben Norman. So a good battle now for the race leader. Norman, who's come from the third row, has actually hit the front. So Ben Norman now takes up the lead. Damon Lyle comes on the inside of Lickelet. Back in fourth place is Hayden Norman as Damon Thompson has gone from chocolates to boiled lollies as they move down into the back straight. There's only two laps to go this time around. Our race leader is Hayden uh, Ben Norman, but not by much. Damon Lyle in second place. Back in third. Oh, Licklet's in trouble too. Hayden Norman goes into third. Uh, we'll watch Licklet down there in turn number one. He's run out of noise as our race leader is Ben Norman. There's two to go this time around. We've also lost Damon Thompson as they come out of Palmer's Corner. It is Norman from Lyle and then Norman back in third. It's Norman Lyle, Norman Lyle at the moment as our local hopes have been blown by the wayside of this one as Licklet and Thompson are pulled to the inside. A mistake from Norman sees Lyle to the inside. The pair of the ELs running side by side of it to the Norman who runs the outside, he'll get the better, he'll try and slide and hold that top spot in here, Will. The white flag is out, this is a cracker for heat race number two of the Street Sox. Down into turn number one, past the pub, it's Ben Norman just in front, here comes Damon Lyle again, sneaks up on the inside, hits the front, Ben Norman goes back to second place, Hayden Norman third, watch for the switcheroo up in turn three, Ben Norman comes again, they come out of turn number four, Damon Lyle screws it down enough, and he'll win by a car length, Lyle, Ben Norman, Hayden Norman, great old finish back then to uh, Marty Kelly in car number three, and last to complete the distance is Kate Helms in 12. We had about four different leaders in that particular race. Uh, I think we may have to hold cards.